Hey guys, so it's me again. I don't even know if anybody follows this channel anymore or they probably just kind of gave up because I haven't posted any updates on Treehouse Tech Degree. So long story short, I made it through that first project that I had talked about. I was on to the second project. Then I got activated to work full time. Uh, fast forward a couple months after that, then I started school full time and now I'm here. So um, even working full time, I found that Treehouse Tech Degree was a little bit too much to maintain. Obviously it could be really easy for somebody else, but for me, um, that first project was, they gave you so much to do. So, or in a sense, they gave you so much to work with. So they basically gave you like the outline of the code and then you just personalized it and you made it yours. You added things, you took away things, um, things like that. Whereas the second project, uh, kind of came out you really fast. So even though you built up to it and you learned everything between one and two, you still started from scratch for that second project. So you wrote all of the HTML, all of the CSS, everything like that. So that was the biggest problem for me. I would come home from work or and try to do it, or I would go a couple days, few days, three, four days without doing anything in, te in tech degree, but then I would go and try and work on the project and I just couldn't remember what was I supposed to do because there was so much that you needed to know. And I felt like it really, um, came a little fast during the videos. So like I said, could be really easy for somebody to do full time. But for me, I could maintain that like 10 to 15 hours that I was putting in with the tech degree program while working full time. Um, and especially now that I work full time and go to school full time, I just, I, I can't manage it. Um, and because of that, I wouldn't recommend that someone especially someone working full-time and going to school full-time. I would not re recommend the Tech Degree program. Um, go ahead and try it though. If, if you're interested, I do still recommend it in, in general though, if that makes sense, because it is a really good program. I think the videos are really well done. Um, the Slack community that Treehouse has is really amazing. I've talked about that as well. Um, but just for the price, that $199 price tag, I could not I couldn't hang on. So I stopped coding for a few months and I've missed it. And I've been wanting to get back ever since, but I didn't want to go back to tech degree because I just don't have the time. So I asked around on some Facebook groups and everything like that. Someone recommended uh, Code Academy, and I've been doing that for a few days. I really, really like it. I find that I'm able to put in 30 minutes a day and still learn things, which is really nice. The biggest um, difference that I found though or the most obvious difference is that there are no videos. I haven't seen any videos yet. So whereas Treehouse is like strictly video based, like you watch the video, but you're also working alongside with a text editor um, so that you can mimic what they're doing. Whereas uh, Codecademy will um, kind of give you a description and then there's a text editor in the middle and then you can run it on like a mock web page on the other side. So there's like kind of the screen split into three, which I didn't think that I would like because I'm a very visual person. I like videos, but I find that I'm still learning and I really like that. And it's nice that it can be done in smaller increments. So I am planning on going through with this Code Academy thing um, just because that's what I have time for. So. Uh, from now on, I think that these reviews, hopefully I'll keep up with them, will be on the Code Academy um, website and app, which is really nice that there is an app. The And Treehouse does not have an app, which is kind of a downfall. The Code Academy app is really nice too because you can work on things that you're also working on the desktop, but on the app, if there's something that you wanted to work on more, you can choose to have it remind you to work on it on a desktop, if that makes sense. So you're not just doing things on your phone. You can push it to the desktop reminder and work on it there next time you log on to the Code Academy website. I am doing the, um, I think it's like the pro subscription. Um, it's nice. They do have a student discount. So if you're a student and you have an EDU, uh, EDU email address, I would highly recommend that because it is, I think it's like $15, $15 for three months. Um, even without the student discount, it seems to be really reasonable, um, which is really nice. And I think that's like the most Code Academy charges. I don't think they have anything like Treehouse did. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, 
about treehouse tech degree. Like I said, I, I made it to that first project. I think there's eight total. So I would only really know anything from that first, maybe second project, like what it entails or anything like that, let me know. But I think these reviews, pending I keep up with them, will be about the, co sorry, the Code Academy uh, app and desktop app. So yeah, let me know. And I'm sorry that I left you guys all hanging. All right. See you soon.